So now I'll demonstrate the procedure for the Graham stain. This stain is uh, one of the most widely used microbiological stains in the world. It's simple, it's fast, it's effective, and um, all of you guys will probably get it to work. Uh, at this point, you want to be putting on safety glasses. You don't want these stains in your eyes, and also gloves. Um, Previously, when you were making the heat fixed slide, you wouldn't want gloves because, well, gloves and Bunsen burners don't mix. But right now, the stains, um, these, some of these stains are a little bit toxic, so I'd be wearing gloves. Now, if you've got more than one slide to process, I'd get them all done and have them on this apparatus here and process them all at once. You should have a protocol in front of you and you can follow that. I'm just going to show you basically what to do. So the first uh, first liquid that we use is crystal violet. You want to flip these little lips open so they're facing directly upwards. If you have them at 45 degrees or less, then you're going to have to really squeeze to get the liquid out and you can cause some uh, spills. So straight up and down. Now you want to rinse right across there and you'll know on your protocol that crystal violet has to go on for one minute and so you'll leave it on for one minute so let's just pretend that that's been on there for a minute we'll get some water and tip that an angle and make sure you rinse that nice and thoroughly you should be able to see that your white bacteria have stained purple you see that? Yeah, not very well. There's, there are purple stains on there. Okay, the next stain uh, is the Graham's iodine. Let's just pretend that I've done that in the same way. I want to rush through to the very important differential part of the differential stain, which is using the absolute alcohol. Again, pop that lid right up. Now, there are various ways of of doing this but I found the most successful way to do it is to get your slide and put it at an angle like that and scrape the lid of the ethanol across the slide while squirting and count five times so we've got one two three four five then immediately get some water on there to make sure that it doesn't decolorize too far. So that five, um, five strips of ethanol is enough to be differential for the stain. Um, the last part is to counter stain with safranin and you can follow the instructions for that. Once you've completed that you should get a little bit of paper and dry the bottom of the slide because you want to be putting this onto a microscope for viewing and so get the slide and just wipe the bottom so it's nice and dry you can also pat the top dry but don't wipe that otherwise you wipe bacteria off and that's your that's your uh, gram stain. Um, just remember, if you are marking these with texts with your, uh, to identify them, the ethanol will wash the texture off. So you, you'll need to identify them in a different way. If you do accidentally knock your slide into the liquid, there's gonna be a lot of liquid in there, liquid waste. I'd just get my gloved hand in there and pull it out, give it a quick rinse with your water and simply keep going with the gram stain because this stain is staining technique is just so robust and uh, so well tolerated that that should still work